What's up guys, my name is Ace, and in today's really quick video, we're just going to be breaking down the armor score streak in Black Ops Cold War. So we're not talking about the armor from Fireteam Dirty Bomb or Warzone, this is the armor score streak. And I just want to talk about how effective it actually is, how exactly it works, how to counter it, and then at the end I wanted to share my thoughts on this and whether or not I feel it's overpowered or too annoying for instance. So, hopping right into it, the armor score streak only works for the person that earns it. This isn't like Modern Warfare 3's armor score streak where you throw a pack down on the ground and then several of your teammates could also pick up armor and then they have it on as well. This only works for you, and when you apply it to yourself, you'll notice that you have a little blue bar above your standard health bar on the bottom left. Now, it's interesting to point out that when you take damage from a gun, not only will that blue bar be going down, it still eats into your health as well. So it will deal damage to your armor and your health simultaneously, but the armor will be reducing the amount of damage that you're taking to your actual health pool. And the armor itself actually has the same amount of HP as your normal health. It's 150 HP. So once you deal 150 damage to the armor, then it's destroyed. And then obviously once it's destroyed, then they don't have armor anymore, and therefore it'll take the same number of shots to kill. Now, as for the damage protection that you get from armor, it appears it reduces bullet damage by 40% to your actual HP bar. So just as an example here, if you shoot somebody that has armor with a gun that's dealing 30 damage, like the XM4 for instance, what will be happening here is you're dealing 30 damage to the armor, or that blue bar, so you're taking that chunk of health away from the armor itself, but then you're also going to be dealing 18 damage to the actual player. And this will be happening with every subsequent shot as long as the enemy still has that blue bar there. As long as they still have armor, you're only dealing 18 damage to the player per shot that you fire here. But then of course, after you shoot that armor five times with the XM4 in this case, the armor will have been destroyed at that point, and now you're going to be dealing full damage to the body. So in the case of the XM4 for instance here, it's normally a five shot kill when armor is not in the equation, but when we do have armor, assuming the enemy doesn't have time to heal up at all, it's going to take you eight shots to kill them now. So this isn't like the armor gear from Black Ops 4 either, because in Black Ops 4 we had that gear that you could just put on your class, and this would essentially just add one extra shot to kill in most situations. With the armor score streak in this game, it's often going to take you roughly two to three extra shots to kill. Of course, that does depend on the gun that you're using and the amount of damage that that gun is dealing, but just as a general rule of thumb, it's going to take you about two to three extra shots to kill somebody. And that's quite a bit if we're looking at the context of a single face-to-face -face gunfight. That will almost always impact the outcome of that fight. Unless, of course, you're aware of the counters to the body armor. And I managed to find just a couple counters to this. The first one is really simple. Shoot them in the head. Armor doesn't apply to headshots in Cold War. So if you see somebody that has that armor bar above their health bar, this is your cue to start aiming for their head because it completely ignores the armor and you'll kill them just as fast as if they didn't have any armor at all. Additionally, something I noticed with my testing is armor only protects you from bullet damage. It doesn't protect you from explosives. Now this one's much more situational. Of course, if you're already in a gunfight with somebody that has armor and you didn't know they had armor till you're in that fight, it's not like you can suddenly just switch to an explosive most of the time. Explosives would be great for taking them out unless of course they're using flak jacket. Now one other thing I did test, because I know some people are going to ask, I did test the barrels that boost your damage against score streaks and vehicles. And just to be clear, that doesn't have an impact on armor at all. It only helps you destroy the streaks and vehicles. So yeah, honestly, your best bet if you come up against an armor user is just to try to make sure you're hitting those headshots in order to maintain the faster time to kill that you would get if they didn't have armor equipped. And that's pretty much it. Armor is pretty straightforward in this game, and now I wanted to share my thoughts on this, because anytime armor comes into the equation in Call of Duty, the question always comes up, is it overpowered or is it annoying? And I've got to say, in this case, I honestly think it's balanced just fine for a few reasons. First up, it only works for the person that earned it, so it's not nearly as frustrating as Modern Warfare 3, where you're suddenly running into three guys in a row that have armor equipped from just one person earning that. Also, headshots are a perfect counter to this, so if you see somebody with body armor equipped, you just have to aim for the head, which is very doable because the guns are quite accurate in this game. And then finally, another thing that makes me feel that body armor isn't overpowered in this game is just the fact that there are much better score streaks out there, and I would much rather somebody be using a score streak slot on armor compared to, like, a cruise missile, for instance, which could just randomly take me out if I happen to be in the open at that moment, and there's really not much I could have done to avoid that. 
At least when it comes to running into somebody with body armor, I've got a decent amount of control over the outcome of that fight still. So yeah, overpowered? I would say no, at least not in core game modes. Maybe hardcore is a bit of a different story. Body armor tends to be very powerful in hardcore modes. But speaking strictly about core modes, I wouldn't call it overpowered, but I would still call it a little bit annoying. It is a bit jarring when you've got a good flow going and you're going from one kill to the next to the next and you're feeling good about everything and then you suddenly run into an armor user. That can really disrupt your flow and it will in many cases lead to you losing gunfights that you otherwise would have won. But at the end of the day, I really don't have that much of a problem with it. It's just a slight annoyance. Of course, that is just my opinion. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on the armor score streak in its current state in Black Ops Cold War? Do you think it's overpowered or really annoying, or do you think it's just fine how it is right now? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.